Okay, now um, you saw the mess that we had when it was raining. It's uh, fairly cold. Um, you know, it's the middle of the winter, and and we have the problem. I mean, we have a subdivision in the back of this of this property or this other subdivision, and the water is actually tilting this way. So that's why you see all the water just just falling through the backyard of this house. For that purpose, what we're going to do is we we're going to start digging um, um, around the perimeter, meaning where the water. If you if you notice. The water comes where the little rocks are. So we're gonna, you know, on the upper side, we're gonna create a basin, a catching basin with some perforated pipe. We're gonna continue, and just like you're saying over here, in this perforation uh, that we just started, um, we're gonna bring it all the way to the street. Now, um, the little pipe that was around here, a little white pipe that you saw there, the, the pipe is like an inch uh, <laughs> of diameter pipe, and that one is not sufficient to drain, obviously, the amount of water that you saw. So we're going to put some 8 inch piping and double 8 inch pipe and a 6 inch pipe respectively, you know, um, and that will help us to, to, you know, trap all the water, especially over there. We're going to use a lot of the rock that is here to put over our new basin so the water, you know, the water will filtrate with some other gravel and we actually trickle through this thing. We're also going to catch the water that is here from uh, these downspouts, uh, they, they seem that, you know, they're not going nowhere. I mean, I'm trying to track them and we, we were digging all the way through and we can't see that. Um, as you can see, it's a little cold right now today. Um, this is just, you know, a frozen water thing. Uh, so we're going to continue in a in a, a warmer uh, time of the day. And But, you know, um, just keep looking at the video and I'll show you what happens. Um, well, here we have, here we have the... Uh, some of the piping that is going to go here, um, this is not perforated. Um, it's corrugated, but it's not perforated. It's going to go all the way through, um, you know, towards the back of the house. And once we get all the way in the back, we're going to change it to the perforated uh, uh, system. And that will allow us to actually collect all the water that is coming from the other side of the property. As you can notice, they will go side by side. So one will be this side and the other one and the other one. We're just going to in a little bit more we had a lot of frost um really cold temperature so it was hard to finish the digging uh quickly but anyway we we are almost ready we're gonna put a um uh, i will say a basin before we get into the gate to collect the water from the gutters and that's how we are going to make sure that um you know the water can actually get collected and and divert to the to the um rainwater um, basin over here so um, the first two sections of um, of the six inch corrugated pipe solid pipe uh, were extended all the way so they were like 200 feet total all the way to the street now we put some of the we saved the grass that was on top then we purposely put a little more of the dirt on top so once it's compacted uh, I will say naturally because we have the pipes on the bottom we don't want to squeeze them so once that is compacted, it's going to get into a more level situation there. But here we have the two other sections of 100 feet each pipes, and these ones are perforated. The reason of being perforated is that right on top of them and through the rest of the line that is going all the way across, we're going to place the corrugated pipes on the bottom. And then after that, we're going to, and actually in this, this, upper wall over here what we're going to do is to prevent a lot of excess mo moisture coming from the other properties on the other side we're going to put um some um, um, plastic liners on the bottom and on the side so the water will repel there and actually drain into the the lines you can see that we actually made a nice um, um curve over here so the pipes can naturally just go straight without breaking them or staggering on top of each other and so once we put the pipes we can Put some gravel i'm gonna go I'm, i actually have a number 75 gravel so small about i would say a quarter inch a quarter a quarter coin a quarter in a three quarter you know, diameter i would say um so that will be placed right on top and then right on top of that we're going to put some of the river rocks used to to the ones that we had previously and that you can i mean that you saw that we're all buried under or you know just covered with water so we're going to use them as a as um i would say grill um to 
be able to trap as much water as possible and once that is done we we're going to go ahead and remove all the dirt that that is not in you know needed anymore we're going to cover the areas that were used before as a some sort of like a creek like um pattern to drain the water away from the house now it's now it's just going to be a pure stone and all that stuff that's how we continue Okay, um, now we, we we can see that you know the pipes are buried under the gravel and the stone. We use the plastic to retain the to I will say to um, keep the water from just kind of draining through the uh, channel that we made, you know, to the trench. But you know it's gonna be cut just just enough to to be you know fairly noticeable. Um, but now, you know, all the pipe is, is buried on the ground. It goes all the way over there to to the street. Um, we have to start the beautification um, process, meaning we're going to remove the, the dirt that is not necessary anymore. And obviously all the elements that were, you know, removed from before. And that's pretty much it. This is a really um, nice and really, I would say... Um, straightforward way of removing all the water that is coming that it was damaging the house uh, we tested already with the snowstorm that we had the ice was melting and the uh, pipes were draining you know the water properly so we didn't have uh, water actually getting inside the property so thank you so much for watching um, i hope with this you can have an idea how you can get rid of all that drainage problem that you have in your back or front yard and that's it. Uh, so um, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.